Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back once again to Creations by Simone. Guess what day it is today? It is Wednesday. That's right, guys. And every Wednesday here on the channel, we feature a segment of Wedding Wednesdays. Now, I want to ask you a quick question. Have you ever thought about writing your own wedding vows? If you're a new bride-to-be, I'm sure that comes across your mind a lot. Now, guys, we know it's a tremendous undertaking, summing up your love, your dreams, and promises to your partner in just a few short minutes. And it can be so overwhelming, but it is well well worth it. So guys, today I am going to give you five top tips to writing your wedding vows just to make it a little easier. All right, my lovelies, as I say in every video, let's do this. All right, my lovelies, the number one tip for writing your vows is don't forget to say I love you. Now this might seem like a no-brainer, but believe it or not, Many couples leave out those three simple words out of their vows. The three simple words, but the most important words. So make sure that you always, always say, I love you. All right, guys, number two tip. Tell your partner you'll be there through thick and thin. You want to include this in your vows. Now, most wedding vows touch on sticking around through the good times and the bad. But the reality is that all marriages have ups and downs and cycles of peaks and valleys. It is nice to communicate your intent in your vows to get through those valleys together. So make sure you always let your partner know that you will always be there no matter what. All right, my lovelies, you can't read anything if you don't practice out loud. You always have to practice reading out loud. Now, the only way to make sure everything sounds perfect is to actually hear it out. Reading your vows out loud will help you catch spots where the grammar might be a little iffy or where you're missing a word or two, as well as figure out if the structure is cohesive. So before you say I do, grab that mic and read out loud. All right, my lovelies, tip number four. Shh. Keep the vows a secret from your partner until the ceremony. Now, your vows are a gift to one another, guys, so you don't want to share them ahead of time. It will make the ceremony all the more special, impactful, and emotional if you're hearing the vows for the very first time on your wedding day. So remember, shh, keep them quiet until the ceremony. All right, guys, last and final tip, number five. Embrace sentimentality. This isn't the time to worry about being corny or cheesy. If the words are heartfelt, then they're not cheesy. I've never heard one vow that made me roll my eyes. It's not about them, guys. It's about you. Say how you feel. Let your partner know your feelings down in the innermost. I'm telling you, you have to be sentimental. This is your day. This is one that you always want to remember. All right, guys, these are just a few tips to share with you for writing your wedding vows. Now, if you want to go further into it, guys, please look it up on the internet. You'll find all types of information that will give you some great ideas for writing the perfect vows for the perfect day. All right, my lovelies, once again, thank you for stopping by the channel. Thank you for supporting Wedding Wednesday. I will see you next Wednesday. We're going to DIY it. All right, my lovelies, until we meet again next Wednesday, I'll see you at the altar. Bye.